Very good morning, Mark Lee here, FX Trademark. It is Wednesday, December the 1st, one more month left to go of the year. We're doing a crypto trading session today. I thought relevant, seeing it is the start of December. Let's have a look at how Bitcoin and our crypto blend have performed over the last month and also if there are any correlations between Bitcoin and possibly US dollar, maybe even gold. Let's have a look and start here. We've got Bitcoin sitting right now trading at 57,300. What you can see, I've put in the ranges, the high and the low of the previous month of November. There's our high sitting at 68,800. We know that we nearly got to the, we touched 69,000, looked like we were going to get to 70. Then we got this very, very strong reversal signal, this bearish engulfing candlestick. Let's blow that up. Strong sell sign, strong reversal signal. And sure enough, it's played out all the way from 67,000. There's the open of that red candlestick of the bearish engulfing candle and it absolutely has played out all the way down to last week's low of 53,500. That's a huge move. Important and encouraging, I think, as technical traders to see how cleanly this played out, how accurately this bearish engulfing played out, as did our moving averages which crossed over on November the 16th, confirmed on November the 17th, and has played out since then. Lower highs, lower lows, really a strong move down. What's also significant is I had in a while ago, if you remember, our Fibonacci retracement. I know it's going to be a lot of lines for now. I don't normally like to put in this much, but just have a look at our Fib retracement of the previous uptrend all the way up to that high, let's try and get it exact, that I'm talking about. And when it came down, I first said, let's look at the first Fib retracement level, 38.2%. It got held up, but it comfortably br broke through. Have a look where it's tested now, the 50% retracement level. There it is. Can you see that? And look where we tested just the end of last week. So we're now testing the 50% retracement uh, level. We broke through the 38.2%. Uh, we're now testing the 50%. It is looking bearish, whichever way you, you look at it. There's those levels. Uh, you can see. Let's zoom into today to our hourly and very, very flat, really not giving us much to work with. If I zoom in and putting levels on the hourly and keeping it really tight here, there's 57,000, there is 7,400, it's about as tight as we can keep it, that's a $400 range, but we've been in this range for quite some time now, looking for a break. I'm looking for possibly further sell opportunities. If it does come up, there is the high, there is the trying to get it up there. And you can see, if anything, possibly a bearish engulfing. In other words, I don't want it to go or break higher than this descending trend line, than the top of the triangle that will coincide with the current resistance I've put in at 57,400. That's my resistance. That's my descending trend line. Let it maybe bounce down off these levels, come down and test and look to test and break lower than this support level. Looking bearish to me, let's wait and see if we get technical confirmation. I want to have a look as well at our blend. 
I love trading the crypto blend. We've been through this together. It's made up, it's got an index feel, the crypto blend, made up of Bitcoin 35%, Ethereum 35%, and then some Ripple and Litecoin. I've done the same thing here in terms of looking at how it performed last month. We're sitting now at 17.80. Last month, there's our high, 1943, 15.37, there's our low. Zoom out a little bit and you can see where we're trading. There's the level. We're sitting in this range right now in the middle of that monthly range. However, on the daily, what you can see for signals to buy, we can see that it's bounced off the support at 1540. Our moving averages have crossed over ever so slightly, pretty much sitting where it closed yesterday for now. In terms of looking for a possible sell, if it's a sell we're looking for, oops, There's the descending trend line. Wouldn't want it to go above or break above there. And an intraday resistance would be sitting right there at the 1808 level. Let's have a look at gold. I'll tell you why I'm doing that. Gold. I'm sorry, <laughs> US dollar, I had gold and the US dollar. So US dollar last month, there's the high, almost at 97, right down to 93.75, where it started very, very strong uptrend US dollar. We know that, look at this dollar trend. Yes, it's come down in the last few days, but overall uptrend on the US dollar and downtrend on, the, on uh, Bitcoin. Could we be seeing something like an inverse relationship here, correlation, where one goes up, the one goes down, kind of along that US dollar gold feel? Certainly something to look at in the, uh, in the coming month. Last month, strong US dollar, weak Bitcoin. Let's see if that becomes a trend. If so, look for technical confirmation, technical signals, of course. Lastly, let's just have a look if there's any correlation with gold. I don't believe so. Gold was pretty flat last month. There's last month. There's our high, 1880 last month, 1760. Let's just zoom out that little bit. We're kind of towards the lower end of the range that you can see. Gold coming down over the month from a, let's have a look. Open was around that uh, 1880, 1882, closed at 17, uh, sorry, as low of 1774. So downtrend on gold, downtrend on Bitcoin, uptrend on the US dollar. If the US dollar strength does continue, even though it's giving up a little bit at the moment, we saw it in the dollar index, if the dollar rally continues into the end of the year, I'll be looking for some sell signals on Bitcoin. We have uh, on Bitcoin. We have got our signals in there. Good trading, guys. Let's keep that discipline going. We'll follow up and see. Remember, we take we've taken a step back for today, and just to remind you on. On Bitcoin. On that hourly, there's the daily. Daily is also flattened out, as you can see, comfortable out. That's comfortable around that 70, 57, 58,000. But when I went to the hourly, it's really not giving us much to work with at all. I did say maybe a test of this level. If we do get that kind of a rejection, let wait for the hourly candlestick to close. If it leaves a bit of a wick and does come down. Could be a nice opportunity on the sell side. Good trading.